Hello, everybody. I am Mr. Dinosaur, and I'm going to tell you a story about the moon. Do you know what the moon is? Yes, exactly. La Luna. <laughs> well, this book is titled On the Moon. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. The moon is very, very far away. Very far away. What do you think it would be like to go there? Yes, can you imagine going to the moon? Wow! A few people have been to the moon. Astronauts went there to see what it was like. Yes! How many astronauts do you see in the page? One, two. Two astronauts. If you went to the moon, you would be an astronaut too. Yes, like this little girl. She's pretending she's an astronaut. Hello, girl. Hey, hey. What color is the t-shirt that she's wearing? Green, like me, yes! To get to the moon, you have to go in a huge rocket. Like this one, this is a rocket. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off! And then the rocket goes with a lot of noise. The astronauts seen, sit in a tiny cabin at the very top. How many astronauts can you see here? One, two, three astronauts. Three astronauts. Let's see what's going on on the next page. Oh, then the rocket flies into space. Wow, space. There's nothing but stars and darkness all around. Yes, you see? All these color black, that's darkness. That's, that's space. Do you want to count the stars with me? Yes, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness! There are lots of stars. They are countless. And there's the moon. You see? round and bright. It takes four whole days to reach the moon. <gasps> four whole days to reach the moon? Cuatro días para llegar a la luna. <gasps> That's a lot. When you get there, you climb into a little spaceship. This is a little spaceship. La pequeña nave espacial. It flies down and down and lands gently on the moon. Yes. To go outside, you have to put on a space suit. Like this one. This is a space suit. Un traje espacial. There is no air on the moon. Space suits carry air so you can breathe. There's no air on the moon. That's why astronauts wear this suit. Special suit. The moon is silent, empty and dusty. Silent. Shh. Empty. There is no one there. And dusty. Polvorienta. Yes, there are huge mountains like this one. Montañas enormes, huge mountains. And big holes. Wow, this is a huge hole. Agujeros enormes. There are no trees, no water, no animals or people. Nothing, nothing, nothing on the moon. On the moon, you'll feel very light and floaty. Yes, like these astronauts. 
When you walk around, you take big bouncing strides. Woohoo! You can jump really far, much farther than you can at home. Yes, like you are floaty, you can jump super far. Astronauts sometimes go exploring in moon buggies. What is a buggy? A buggy is a small car like this one, and they use it to explore the moon. They collect moon rocks to bring back home. You see, this astronaut is collecting rocks to bring them back home. They take photos to show people at home what the moon looks like. Yes, these astronauts take pictures and when they come back home, they show those pictures to us. Thank you, astronauts. Astronauts put a flag on the moon to show they have been there. Yes, they put the flag on the moon. Which country is this one? Exactly, the USA. You can see our world from the moon. You see this little tiny ball? That's the Earth, our planet. It looks tiny because it is so far away. It is so far away that it looks like this. Very, very, very small. When it's time to go, the astronauts blast off for home. You see, they go into the rocket, back to the Earth, our planet. The moon is left almost as it was before, apart from a flag and a buggy. The buggy. Remember what the buggy was? A small, small, small car that they use to explore the moon. And some footprints in the dust. Astronauts also leave footprints, footprints, las huellas de los pies, in the dust. <gasps> the book is almost finished. Do you think you'll ever go to the moon? That would be very nice. It would be an adventure. Would you like to go to the moon? Yes, I would love to. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to meet you very, very soon. Remember, tomorrow at 5. Bye-bye.